Today, we look at five easy ways you can make your APU gaming experience better. Number one, running an exclusive full screen can give you an FPF boost over non-exclusive full screen and sometimes significantly improve frame pacing. I had experiences in multiple games, but never collected hard data. For this video, I wanted to confirm it. I ran the Tomb Raider benchmark a couple of times and recorded an average difference of 1.8 FPS in favor of exclusive full screen. That's a 2.2% performance improvement. It was definitely outside of variance. The worst score in exclusive full screen was better than the best score in non-exclusive full screen. So flip that switch. Number two, you should update your BIOS to the latest CPU compatible version. For example, the 5000G series are still relatively new. And there have been new BIOS versions every few weeks. These updates range from fixing critical vulnerabilities to better RAM speed support and system stability. You shouldn't do this if power outages are frequent in your area. If the board loses power during the flashing process, it may not be recoverable. Number three, you should allocate some extra VRAM. By default, the reserved amount is 512 megabytes. This rarely is a problem as the system can dynamically assign up to half your available RAM for the Vega graphics, but some games do a lousy job at requesting extra memory. The setting want to change in the BIOS. According to my research, it's located in almost the same place across all brands. Go to the IO port section on the settings tab and change the integrated graphic option to forces. Then set the UMA mode to either UMA specified or UMA game optimized. I recommend specifying two or four gigabyte or choosing game optimized. Number four. Make sure your driver is updated. Have you enabled automatic updates? Yes, that's what I did. Still, the Radeon software failed to find the driver updates available directly on the AMD website. But I've had multiple people report the same issue in the comment section. So if the versions don't match, reinstall the driver manually from the website. And finally, number five, don't sell yourself short on graphics settings. Picking lowest is rarely optimal and you can almost always get away with high or ultra texture settings at no noticeable impact on performance. Use the best type of resolution scaling available in the game. The best is FSR if it's available. Some games, like Doom Eternal, work exceptionally well with dynamic scaling. You should only load your monitor's actual resolution as a last resort. Even simple static resolution scaling is superior because it retains UI element at their native quality and sometimes reverts to rendering the game in native quality once you enter photo mode. If this was helpful and you've been thinking about overclocking or want to understand your system better, leave a like and check out this video. I'll see you in the next one.